was in, uh, in 1887. Uh, I was a student, I was studying architecture at the, the Beaux-Arts in Paris and I was also playing rugby as an amateur. But the rugby at that time was extremely inspired by the tradition, the English tradition, so extremely institutional. And we were students, we were young, we were crazy a little bit as French, froggies, and we decided to input a little touch of fantasy on this uh, classical rugby. First of all, we've played uh, wearing those famous French hats called the beret in, uh, in Bayonne. Then we, we've played uh, uh, with the faces uh, painted in black. We'd, we, we've played with the shoes painted in gold. And game after game, we were winning and we were performing. So, so doing those jokes, we thought that it could be a good idea to find a symbol uh, of that spirit. And the idea came to use uh, the pink bow tie uh, as, as a symbol. I was still finishing my studies. I was in the last year ready to, 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 to pass my last uh, test. And uh, I said, it's not possible. We cannot let this bow tie fly uh, by itself. Let, let's do something with that. And uh, the logical idea came when we, we saw those rugby jerseys, we knew how to destroy them since uh, 10 years. So it was not a bad idea to imagine that we could try to make them. And we began the story with a collection of 60 uh, different jerseys. I was not interested in doing sport clothes. Uh, I'm more interested in doing clothes inspired by, by a, a, a rugby story, in, in that case precise and a true story, which is something, again, extremely uh, uh, strong. Uh, the secret for Eden Park, it's not very complicated. You never go against the tendency, you follow the tendencies, and you never forget to remind that it's a true story. So on each clothes, you, you have to refound the, the, the style of, uh, of the story. And um, we, we're lucky, it's a true story, we just have to surf on the wave and uh, not to forget the tendency, but also to be very, very uh, fidel to, uh, to our story. This is, this is the secret. He's a, it's, a, it's a guy who want to, be, uh, want to have uh, nice clothes, but uh, I, I would like him to, to keep from the sports uh, years uh, the comfort. Uh, then we, then I, I really prefer to talk about elegance, uh, raffinement in French. Uh, I, I like the quality. I think the secret of Eden Park, without the, the true story, is also to keep and going on the quality. And this is something which push, which is pushing the, the customer to come back. Well, we, we, are, we are actually uh, in the Middle East uh, very well implanted. Uh, for example, if we, take, if we take Dubai here, we've got uh, this, uh, this uh, huge shop uh, with uh, Jad Saibes uh, belonging to the group Bawar, and it's uh, absolutely uh, crucial for us uh, to have the help of uh, local people. Uh, we are also in, in, uh, in Liban, we're also in, uh, in, uh, at the Souks and in Al Shafayeh. Uh, where we have a nice shop, we are also in Kuwait, where we have two huge shops, and we are making a, a prudent and serious job. The, the brand is uh, moving on the right way, it's growing, it's growing quite, quite good. I think it's a success, we can say that really in the Middle East, uh, Eden Park is a success. So finally, uh, I would like to, to tell the people from Dubai uh, and especially here in the Dubai Mall that uh, they are welcome. We're extremely proud to be uh, uh, a special brand, a unique brand coming from France designed by, by uh, a French team and it's a real honor for us uh, to be uh, represented here.